grenade, yeah. Man, I got it, wow. What to say, hey? We about it, uh. Get the crane, yeah. Why you slacking? Why you talking all the top, boy, you capping? What you need, hey? Yeah, I got it, uh. What to say, yeah. We about it, wow. Get the crane, yeah. Why you slacking? Why you talking all the top, boy, you capping? Yeah. Why you capping? Why you capping, no? Feel like a rubber band, I've been snapping now. Yeah, I've been up here with my team, so you know this what I mean. We've been going up like nasty. What is going on, everybody? Pete Simonetti here for NYYU. Over the last couple of days, as NYYU took over Tampa, Florida, for of course NYYU Spring Training 2024. A lot of the conversation was about Dylan Cease because there was a rumor out there that the Yankees were making an offer for Cease, trying to get him over, of course, with all the stuff going on with Garrett Cole. That's going to be a separate video or something else that we'll talk about on a live chat or something along those lines. As I don't think the news is one month or two months, but I'll get into that about Garrett Cole um, coming down the line here. But he is the reason why talks have picked up for a guy like Dylan Cease. But it doesn't really matter. No reason to discuss it because, again, Dylan Cease is gone. Dylan Cease is no longer an option for the New York Yankees, as it says right here, Mark Feinstein. Per sources, the entire return for Dylan Cease is right-handed pitcher. <laughs> Drew Thorpe, who the Yankees traded for Juan Soto. Samuel Zavala, number seven overall. Hayo Iriarte, number eight overall. And reliever, Stephen Wilson. Uh, Hiro, Gyro, Jiria, Jamiga, Jagiga, Jaguga. I'm sorry I said your name completely wrong. That's my bad. I literally just landed in a plane, okay? Literally just landed in a friggin' plane, all right? Uh, and, of course, Thorpe is the only guy on there that is a top 100 prospect. But... What are you going to do, guys? If the Yankees do this, you're probably looking at what? Um, Warren or Hampton. Um, a number seven guy. Uh, what do you want to go with there? Um, I would say Wells or um, who the frig would it be? Uh, Roderick Arias, maybe. Um, Everson Pereira and then another pitcher. We all know the Yankees weren't going to do that. I'm Again, I got a little clouded mind right here, but I had to make this video about this. We know the Yankees weren't going to do that. As, look, I'm Pete Dombrowski. I'd figure out a way to try to get a deal done, maybe with additional quantity st over quality. And we don't know. The Padres may have said, look, we're kind of stuck on this guy. If you guys can't move him, we're going to look for you know some more starting pitching or whatever it might be. John Morosi is also now reporting that he can confirm that the Yankees did indeed make a final offer for Dylan Cease in the last 24 to 48 hours. But clearly, the Yankees are still working on a deal. Now, who the hell else is out there? Your, you know, your guess is as good as mine at this point. There's some people talking Michael Lorenzen. I, I, I don't know. We know that Blake Snell is out there. We know that Jordan Montgomery is out there. Guys, I believe the Yankees need a starting pitcher, of course, with the stuff with Cole. We're going to talk about that. I... I, I I talked to a few people um, who feel like him going to see the doctor, there's more to this story. Aaron Boone once again gives his little bullshit answers, and it's it's so ridiculous how the Yankees seriously lack communication. It, to the point of spring training schedules aren't followed. It's a mess. It really is. This is the only team that lacks what they always preach. This guy, uh, we need more communication. He's a great communicator. He's this, he's that. Uh, they're a mess in that regard in this organization. I've been saying it for years. I've confirmed it with many people, and it is what it is. But Carlos Rodon looked very, very good today. Marcus Stroman is probably going to be the opening day starter. It'll likely be Stro Rodon going one and two on March tw starting March 28th against the Houston Astros in Houston. But guys, the Yankees probably do need to add a starter. I'm not a big fan of letting the young kids just go and get a role. I like to see them maybe work at it. Uh, Clayton Beater's done so well. Will Warren looks really good. Both of these guys are kind of standing out in the packs. And I want to see them get their due diligence. I really do. But I would like to see the Yankees go out there and get somebody of significance. Right now that Dylan Cease is gone, 
I don't have the answer for you. You know, maybe at the end of the day, the best thing to do is to stick with the kids and see what you got to wait to the deadline to then see who becomes available. But guys, uh, just to wrap this up, thank you guys so much for everything over the last couple of days. I am working on the vlog as we speak. I got to do all color correction on all the videos first. And that takes a very long time. So I'm starting that now. I started it on the plane. I started it in the airport. Non-stop working here at NYYU. It's who we are. So guys, again, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love you have showed everybody here at NYYU. We really appreciate you guys. Until next time, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the Dylan Cease trade to the Padres? Do you think the Yankees should have bit the bullet and tried to add some more to make a deal done? Or do you think the Yankees stick with their young guns and go from there? Like, share, and subscribe to NYYU. Smacky the likey. Hitty the sub sub. Peace, baby. Talk to you guys later. It's heavy. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots around my neck. Self respect when you out of line, you put yourself in check. Uh, they don't hear me, they don't, they don't, they don't hear me though. Cycles like going round and round and round like a merry go. Stand for truth or fall for any old scenario. That's why I keep my circle smaller than a cherry. Yo, is this the company you kick? Stay woke, please don't get caught slick. End up. So cheap, the ghost is inside of me, can't take it out of me, no matter where I've been, it's not where I'm meant to be, I be shining perfect time and check your watch.